Hello, I'm Dr. Tara Nichols, one of your fellow ASPMN members. I'm on the board and the first past president of ASPMN Great Lakes. And I'm going to teach you how to tweet. So exciting. This is a basic presentation on how to set up your Twitter account, how to follow others on Twitter, and how to post a Twitter message. So why tweet? Well, actually, why not? You could tweet and promote pain management and nursing or promote ASPMN or maybe something really interesting you learned here at the conference. You can promote the networking opportunities and the friendships you have made, rekindled, and even strengthened. You can share your love of your tribe. Pain management healthcare professionals, there's no one like us. And you can learn about breaking news and pain management. You can share links to articles, research books, presentations, pictures, important takeaways from a presentation, article, or conversation. And if you don't want to tweet any of that, you can also just have fun with posting a meme to give someone a good laugh. So let's get tweeting. So in this presentation, I'm going to go over three easy steps so that to show you how to start your Twitter account. And then we're going to start tweeting in two steps. But most importantly, we're going to have fun. So let's get started. Pull out those phones. And the first thing I want you to do is if you have an Android phone, you're going to go to Google Play Store. And if you have an Apple uh, phone, you're going to go to the Apple uh, Store. And then you're going to uh, click on that. And you can see I have that highlighted right here on my uh, phone here. That's my Play Store. So now, when you get to that, uh, your Play Store or your Apple app, you're going to see uh, in here, you can type Twitter, and then this will come up, the Twitter uh, app, and you'll see here that you can click here to install. When you click the install button, the next thing you're going to see is it's going to be saying installing and around this little Tweety Bird is going to be like a little buffer and it's going to be showing you how much more to download. But don't click cancel because you'll have to start over. When you're done, you'll see that the Twitter, it says installed and here you're going to click open. When you open it up, it's going to say create account. So you're going to click on that. And then you're just going to put your information in right here. How easy is that? Your name, your phone number, and your date of birth, and then click next. And your account is all ready to go. Wow. It doesn't get any easier than that. Once you have your account all set up, you are going to create a profile. And you can see here, my profile is partially already set up, but here you can make your name. I put my email address because my name, you know, if you want to put your name, you can put your name, a bio, uh, your location. And if you have a website, you can put your website. I'm not that busy, so I don't have a website yet. But hey, one day. Now. If you want to put your picture in, and I would advise that you do, um, you can either, you can click on this camera here, and this icon will come up where you can either take a photo right there on the spot, or if you click choose existing photo, it'll go into your, cap, your photos on your phone, and you can pick one there. So whichever one you choose, you can do that. And then you'll, you'll uh, save it or it'll let you edit the picture and then your profile will come up like this. And you can see I have a really cool picture here 
and I have, I was born in November and I, this is when I joined and I have six followers and I'm following one person and your profile is all set up and now we are ready to tweet. Okay, you're almost done and in the next two uh, steps, I'm going to show you how to find people or organizations to follow and how to post on Twitter. Okay, in step one, we are going to learn how to search for people or organizations. So now, if you look across the bottom of your Twitter page, you can figure out if you're on your home page or if you're on your search page. If you're on your home page and you, it's blue, then you want to click on your magnifying glass to get to your search page. When you click on this magnifying glass, you'll have an open space here where you can type ASPM. We're going to look for the ASPM um, Twitter account to follow. And you see that's the first one. And we're going to click on that. ASPM at ASPM Learners is going to come up. You see this button here that says follow. If you click on that, then you'll, the next page that will come up will show ASPM in at ASPM in Learners, and you are now following. And that is how you search for someone and then follow them. So let's try that again. Now, what I want you to do is arrow back. It'll take you back to the search page. Remember, across the top, you can type in there. So now I'm going to have you type in P-A-I-N and the pain management nurse at PMN Journal will come up. You're going to click on that. And now what you're going to see is the same thing. First, the follow page will come up. You'll click on follow. And once you click on follow, the next page will say that you are now following. So now you should be following ASPMN at ASPMN Learners and you should be following the journal. You can do that for people as well. You can follow me. But remember, not by my name, by my email, comfort not pay. And then you can type that in and I will come up and you can click on my follow and follow me and you can do that for other people. So now I want to show you how to navigate around on your Twitter account. Again, remember, if the house is blue, you're on your home page. And if the magnifying is blue, you're on the search page. Uh, either on your home page, which is here, or your search page is here, you'll see these three little lines. If you click on those three little lines, your profile will come up and you can go in and make any changes in your profile. You can change your email by clicking on this drop down arrow and you can go through each of these. So now you have set up your Twitter account. You have set up your profile and you know how to search for people and organizations. Okay, step two. Posting uh, a tweet in 140 characters or less is actually gone up to 280. So now we want to go back to either um, our search page or I believe our home page and you'll see this blue circle there's a little quill or pin in it and the plus sign if you click on that then you will get this page come up where it's asking you what's happening and then you can see your little keyboard here you can start typing and I have typed I am at the 31st ASPMN conference we are having a blast now you can click tweet and send it out into tweet land, but we want to navigate our tweet so um, we can have the people we want to see, um, see the tweet. So you can use the app and put ASPM in, in learners. And then when you send your tweet, it will show up on that um, ASPM in newsfeed. And then if you want your tweet to be searchable by certain words like hashtag nurse or hashtag pain nurse or hashtag your hospital, then you can put a hashtag 
And when people search those words, it'll pull your tweet up to the level where they can see it. So using at and hashtag is two ways to navigate the tweet where you want it to go. So you just don't send it out into tweet land. And then you click tweet. And once you do that, this page will pop up that says your tweet uh, was sent. And that's it. Now you're tweeting. So there's so much stuff to tweet. So let's get tweeting. If you want more information on how to tweet, right below where this video is in the app, you should see a, a handout on how to tweet. And there's more things on here that you can do. And we give you a list of hashtags and uh, ads to follow different people to give you ideas. So get 